morning. <laughs> Harry came to see me this morning. Didn't he? As you know, Harry is a girl. And they named her Harry because of all her hair. Good morning, this is Visit Mima. And yes, I got my hair cut. Betty came and cut my hair for me. Her and her daughter Renee. And I'm so tickled pink. We tickle pink this morning, are we? We tickle pink. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Larry's ate this morning. She's eaten and the puppies have eaten. And so we start a new day. What's your plans for the new day? Huh? What you gonna do? Let me see. Oh, let's see. Well, today for me, I take trash out. <laughs> the many obligations of life. <laughs> right. It <laughs> is obligations of life. So I stayed up last night and listened to an audio book. Oh, this is Visit Bima. I'm th glad you came to visit me this morning. I don't have a lot to say. I'm not hope you have something to say. That's, that's okay. I'll talk to myself and pretend you're right over there in my couch. On my couch. Yeah, I uncovered my couch. I'm washing the coverlet on it. Putting it back on is going to be a chore. I don't know if I... I may have to wait for my daughter to do that. But, you know, I've got one of those wild hairs. <laughs> Let me clean the covers off the couch. Yeah, wild hair. I think that probably came from, what do you think, guys? A wild hair. It's like a hair you can't control, and it just does its own thing. Maybe that's what that means. It's an old saying. I don't know if you've heard it or you've heard it all your life. But old sayings seem to register in one way or another. I don't. Uh, if we think about it, but we know how to use it in a sentence. I got a wild hair. Oh, Harry got a wild hair and came over today. Yeah, you good little antennas. My sister may stop by because she might have a wild hair. <laughs> wild hair. I wonder where that originated from. You think it was the Victorian time and Queen, Queen Elizabeth said, Oh, no! Or Queen Victoria, I got a wild hair! Put a hat on it! <laughs> I don't know. Or either you have a whole batch of a bunch of bunnies and one of them just acts crazy and say, Oh, that's a wild hair! <laughs> wild hair, what do you think? I don't know in crocheting if I've ever used, well, I have, didn't I? The other day I said I got a wild hair and I crocheted a, a hanger for my plant, remember? <laughs> so I guess crochet and wild hair goes together. <laughs> what do you think, Harry? You think it goes together too? You think so? <laughs> yeah. Well, aren't you pretty? Nothing's more calming than crocheting, petting a pet, even if though it's not your pet. Uh, taking the time to relate. I don't know. It's something like you have, you know, combing a puppy. I saw when one lady crocheted a little bed for her little kitten. And I thought, well, that's a great idea. You could use all different colors of yarn. Good, yeah. It said that uh, cats don't see red. I think that's what I read somewhere. It was one of these shows on YouTube. And that what they did, they put... I'm jumping around this morning because I hadn't settled yet. Just not getting my coffee, but... 
they put a little thing around the kitten, you know, around their necks in the whole neighborhood. They put every cat that lived in that area uh, a little monitor thing or, um, you know, GPS to see and map where there's days uh, or maybe weeks, I don't know how, how long, to see what they're, you know, what they seem to have their own area. You know, it's just like me in my little apartment. This is my little area. Now, if I want to let the little kitty in, I'll let my little kitty in. If I don't want somebody to come in or a wolf or a bear come in, no. I'm going to close my door because this is my territory. So they have territories. What I was getting at is it was very interesting story uh, on YouTube about the kitty cats and their and their territories and how they all lived in one neighborhood and how once once a week or something they all gather within one they leave their territories and meet this one place and all these cats are there <laughs> but they're not close enough to play or talk to each other they just look at each other and it's sort of like a ritual some kind of ritual what what do you need to go pee pee outside? I don't have a litter box, so hang on just a second.